Hey, boys and girls, thanks for joining us again here this Saturday morning. We're excited that uh, you're tuning in. I actually am at a new location once again. I mean, we've been to the Faith Lab. We've been to um, um, CKC Sports Center. Well, today we're at the Faith Academy. So if you look around, you see we're in our CKC Sanctuary and we're at Faith Academy. And I am missing the opportunity to do some tutoring, but I did have a parent call up and ask today if their older child, I actually tutor elementary school kids, all of you guys know that, but if their older son could come in so that he could help his brother with math, because his brother's trying to, kind of struggling. So I actually have Alfonso joining me today. And Alfonso may not know some of the rules of Covenant Kids Church or even our Faith Academy here at Covenant Kids Church, which one of them would be not to be on your cell phone. Oh, my bad. But, Okay, when um, Sorry. we're talking that everybody kind of participates and pays attention. I've got this really exciting story for you guys today. And our theme today is actually talking about how much we need each other. So I know you're at home and you're spending a lot of time at home and maybe your parents are at home with you. So we're trying to provide you with some fun things and activities to do and I'm sure they're doing the same thing. But also, have you thought about helping your mom or dad do something. A lot of times as kids, I have children, I have grandchildren, and they're so used to, um, excuse me, they are, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Also, we don't, you didn't ask for that candy or anything. Oh, I, I, sorry, I didn't know I had to. Well, I'm the teacher. Oh, yes ma'am, yes. You're the student. Yes ma'am. So you just don't, do you do that at school? Go up to your teacher's desk and take anything off that you want? No, ma'am. Okay, thank you. I want to give your mom a good report. <laughs> I want to give your mom a good report. Uh, and I thought you really wanted to help your brother, and that's why you're here, right? I, I do want to, but I don't see how you're going to help me. Okay, so I assume that your brother needed help with math. That's what I'm doing. Uh -huh. But also that some of the things he's doing you're not familiar with yet, maybe? or maybe they don't do it the same way as when you were in school. So what I'm thinking is your mom wanted you to catch up. Yeah, now you look like you could be a high school uh, student. Were you worrying that to impress the girls? <laughs> maybe. Okay, so anyway, now that I got the real Alfonso here, we can talk. So you really need to pay attention to what we're talking about and helping others, and that's why you're here, is to actually help your brother. So I was just asking the kids how many of them are helping at home, you know, doing something other than, playing video games or telling their mom, I'm hungry again, eating everything up in sight. How many of you are actually helping? Well, the Bible actually tells us that we should love one another and that we're going to be known as disciples of God based on how we treat one another. And we do need each other. So I want to read you a couple of scriptures and then we're going to tell this story that Please don't mess with the candy or the chips. Anything. You're going to get a chance to get all of this. I'm going to explain to the kids in a minute, okay? But in John chapter 13, in verse 34, this is Jesus talking. Jesus. Says, Sorry. Sorry. He says, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. And he says in verse 35, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. If we have love for one another the way Jesus does, he's not asking us to sacrifice our life for each other. But it does say in the Bible, no greater love hath the man than to lay down his life for a friend. So just by serving and helping one another out, you're actually demonstrating the love of God for them. And that includes your parents at home. That includes your brother at home that needs help with his math. That includes all of those things. So I've got a story for you today. If you were in school tomorrow and your teacher put oh, all- I go back to school tomorrow. And your teacher put all of this out and she said, hey, y'all can have as much of these snacks as you want. As much as I want. Did I tell you you could have it yet? Okay. I got, I got a plan for you. Okay, let me talk to you, Alfonso, for a minute. Let me talk to Alfonso for a minute. Okay, I want you to listen to the story. I want you to listen to the story. And after the story, you can have anything on this table that you want as long as, as, long as 
You follow the rules. Ah, easy. Okay. Easy. easy follow rules. Okay. So there was this person who had a dream. And I in the dream, <clears throat> they were invited to this party along okay. with a lot of other people. All right. And at this party, the, everything they wanted, like for you kids, it's probably pizza was on the table. Pizza rolls. Candy. Hey, man. Potato chips. Potato chips. Um, what else do you like? Uh, some of my kids say they like chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Uh, Rotten onions with milk. Nah. All of the Old things that you love. Milk. So everybody, no talking when the leader's talking. Yeah, everybody at the party, the person who hosted the party, uh -huh. had everything they could ever want right there on the table. So nobody would sit down and say, I don't like this, because there was always something there for everybody. Scrumptious. But the rule was, we're going to sit down and we're going to have this big meal and we're going to have this big buffet. Okay. And you can have as much of it as you want. I'm not going to tell you you can't eat all candy. You can have all candy. You can have all chips. You can have all pizza. It doesn't matter. I've made this party for you. But the rule is, before you sit down, we're going to strap your arms to a flat stick. We're going to wrap each of your arms around that so you can't build, bend your elbows. Okay? So keep your arms like that. So boys and girls, you try it. Put your arms out like that. If you were here, I would let you do this. And you could sit at the table and oh. eat everything there. So wait a minute. Oh, sorry. So he said, okay, it's time to eat, time to enjoy, time to sit down. You can have anything on the table that you want. And the table has people sitting all around it, all around it. So there's somebody all around it. So we sit down to the table. He says the blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will bless this food. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Whoever eats the fastest, they get the most. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go for it. Eat. But you can't bend your elbows. Uh-uh. Go ahead. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Uh-uh. Elbow bent. You can't have that anyway. Can't have it anyway. Can't bend your elbows. Can't bend your elbows. Can't bend your elbows. Then lean way back. Still didn't hit his mouth. Hey, this is the thing. That could go on for a long time with everybody at the table bending for themselves. Or... And it hit the floor. Okay. Or I want it. they can help one another, which is an ex ex exhibition of basically loving and caring about whether or not somebody else has what they need. So I'm going to go over here. Uh huh. You and I'm going to ask Alfonso, Alfonso, who's supposed to be here to understand math to help his brother. Your arms are straight out. Uh, uh, okay. What do you want to eat? Uh, I could go for some chips since you told me I couldn't have the other ones. So rude. So, the bag of chips is open. If I reach in there, get out the chips, go up. You sanitize, right? We are living in different days. My hands are clean. Boom! So whoever, mm. but put your hands down. Ugh. If y'all held your hands up that whole time, you probably feel it now. The problem is we think of self and not what the word of God says, and we don't help each other. We can do so much more if we help one another and if we love one another than we could ever do alone. Now, that may not ever happen, but what if you didn't have arms? Or what if, I'm not saying you don't have arms, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. But what if you were in a situation, how many of you had a broken limb and was in a cast and you needed help? How many of you, maybe somebody in your family, needed help taking care of themselves or doing something that Needs maybe it was a sibling? Out. And a lot of times you fuss with your brothers and your sisters, but if they were hurt, you would be right there for them. Well, God tells us that we're all in one family in Christ. We're all, as Christians, we should not just care about what's going on in our individual households, but also reaching out to others to help them. Because even though you can easily feed yourself, maybe somebody oh, else can. Oh, that's why it says we need each other. Even though 
So, you know, what I want to emphasize you kids, we've been talking about faith all month. Faith is not just faith for you. Mm -hmm. The faith you exhibit in God, you can share. Share, like the, share like the chips, like the chips. With someone else. Uh, very true. And then they will build up their faith. Mm -hmm. And then share it with someone else. And so on, and so, and so on, and so on, mm -hmm. and so on. And before you know it, we're taking care of each other. It's As like if I help my brother with his math, and then he has a friend that needs help with math, then my brother can help his friend with math. Maybe and your I brother's like, I went to Miss Melba, but then she ain't home with me all the time. Yeah. So then my brother went, he learned it, he helped me, and now I can help you. Or even if my brother helped me, maybe he can help you. You have a whole circle going. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, I, I, we are loving each other the way God asked us to do. The way Christ actually, this is Christ speaking in that verse, telling us to love one another the way he did. And he sacrificed everything mm -hmm. for each and every one of us. So I encourage you during this time that you're at home while you're tapping in. We're going to have stuff on the website, too, again, to kind of match up with what we taught today. Work those puzzles, enjoy them, and the way we've got them, you can do them over and over again. You can get help from your parents, but also be a help to your parents. Also, help one another. I'm sure your parents yeah. have neighbors or you have neighbors or friends that you need to check in on. The more that we do that, every need will be met. Yeah. Just not about us, guys. It's just not about us in our homes, but it's about how we can minister and reach out to others. And you guys know our policy here at Covenant Kids Church. We expect you to operate the same way we expect the adults to operate. We yeah. expect you to walk in the same flow and in the same anointing. So there are people that God is going to place across your path that will receive from you and will receive that help and be blessed and take it to the next person. Amen. So you guys have a great Saturday. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to have more information for you coming next time.